What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about several different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Smile. We'll be talking about Scream 7. We'll be talking about Until Dawn. And we'll be talking about The Strangers Chapter 2. So starting off here with Smile. Parker Finn shared these comments with Screen Rant to address a potential Smile 3 and more sequels. He said, I do think there are so many exciting places that Smile could go. For me, it's still always about wanting to do something thematically rich that's centered on character stories. I love where this film goes. And right now I'm excited for audiences to see Smile 2. Hopefully if they embrace it, I think there could be a really interesting future for Smile. So he's not wrong when it comes to the fact that there are some exciting places they can take this going off of the ending of the second film. And if you know what I'm talking about, if you've seen the film, then you get where Parker is coming from. I like how these movies, I think the strong suit of these movies right now is the way they tell these stories with these characters and how they make them feel alone with their insanity. We, the viewer, know they're not insane. We're increasingly becoming frustrated that no one else around them believes them. That's the appeal for me that keeps me coming back and keeps me hooked when watching these Smile movies. And I would hope that going into a Smile 3 and however other mini sequels there are, we start seeing ways this entity can be defeated while still preserving the mystique of it all. We don't need to do prequels and dig into what it is, this, that, and the third. That's unnecessary. If you do it, you're probably going to risk diminishing the intimidating nature of the creature as it is. We don't need that. Just let it be this mysterious force that preys on our trauma and introduce a way and maybe in which it can be defeated while not telling us how it came to be. Because how it came to be might be dissatisfying or might be unsatisfying. It might not even please a lot of people. But Parker Finn is not wrong when it comes to how this film expands and opens so many doors for more sequels. And again, if you've seen the sequel, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I hope, wish, and pray that it at least builds upon what happens at the end of Smile 2 and we get some connective tissue in that regard and don't have it discarded. I think what happens at the end of Smile 2 should still be very important for Smile 3, Smile 4, and however else we get afterward. Now, let's talk about Until Dawn. Until Dawn is being released in April of 2025, on the 25th to be exact. The trades reported this a few days ago. Now, I have never seen excitement for a movie go out the window so fast. The more we started learning details about it, like Until Dawn. You, I, I guess you could say Scream 7 is a close second right now off the top of my head. But specifically, Until Dawn feels a little bit different. <laughs> Even the broad statements from the director and details in the official reporting have just killed a lot of the excitement. Not for everyone, but several fans of the game, myself included. Hopefully this turns out well for them, but I will not hold my breath. It's just not very appealing to know that it's new characters, a, a seemingly different story, potentially no Wendigos. And I've seen people talk about how the Wendigo aspect is offensive, but I haven't seen many people from that group of people who they say it's offensive towards speak out against it. It's another case where for me as a minority, you have certain people who want to be offended on other, other people's behalves. Like they always want to. So I think this is going to end up being a train wreck. Uh, it could end up shocking me. Be one of the best horror movies we get next year. But we'll see what comes of that. Now let's talk about Scream 7. So Matthew Lillard has denied an appearance in the upcoming 7th film. He made these comments to fandom recently. And there was also jokes made about him starring as a double for Nev Campbell or something along those lines. But what I know folks will cling to is his follow up saying... Even if I was, I'd lie to you about it. So even if he was in Scream 7, he's saying he would lie to us about it. Here's the thing. Despite that second follow-up comment, I don't think he's lying at the start. That's the biggest takeaway for me. As of now, I trust he will not be in Scream 7. He hasn't been in 5. He hasn't been in 6. But I will get to an another point when, when it comes to the, to, to the Mocker family. If he does appear, he won't be alive. That's for sure. The rational side of me does believe five and six have done a solid job making us question the Mocker family's legacy in all of this. So Leslie filling in the shoes her dead brother can't wouldn't be unreasonable to me. And you got to wonder, does Matthew Lillard get tired of this? You know, he's he plays it up very well. He doesn't seem rude or nasty about it. But I got to wonder, does this man get tired of this? I It, it has to be annoying to always be talked about in regards to something you've dismissed 
several times. I feel like he's dismissed this so much, not respectively in regards to Scream 7, but just how he makes it clear he likes to joke about it. He likes to joke about Stu Mocker coming back. I've never taken him seriously. And he seemingly always does this thing where even when he's hyping it up, I've seen him also say, oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not going to be in that movie. He didn't appear in five. He didn't appear in six. I don't think he's going to appear in seven. If he does, like I stated, he's not going to be alive. I still don't even get the reasoning behind why he should be alive. I just don't see how one can convince themselves that a story can be concocted that isn't overly convoluted, isn't overly irrational, and that it would fulfill everyone's desires that would like to see Stu Mocker back in a sensible capacity. I just don't see it. I wouldn't mind Stu Mocker being back, but context is what the killer is here. It's been over 30 years almost, and the man is dead. He's maggot food. He is dead. He is not coming back to life. <laughs> He's not going to be revealed as being in some witness protection program or anything like that. It's just a dead horse that's being beaten. He can return while still being dead like Skeet did for five and six. Now, The Strangers Chapter 2 has a teaser trailer dropping tomorrow. So even though the film was supposed to drop this fall, that's clearly changed. We're getting a teaser trailer tomorrow. And I would assume with this teaser trailer, you're going to get an announcement of the release date, uh, possibly some stills and a plot description for the upcoming film. But this should be an exciting thing that comes tomorrow. I know a lot of people have already started quoting the, the teaser I shared talking about keep it we don't want this yeah i get where you're coming from the first movie wasn't all that i didn't think it was bad i did think it was decent but i see where everyone else is coming from who thought it was complete utter trash thought it was a shot for shot redone of the first movie i just thought that all in all it was decent at best it wasn't a complete dud to me i've seen far worse i didn't rail on it the same way i know a lot of other people wailed on it but We'll see what comes of the second film. I know they were doing those reshoots. Hopefully, whatever it is they reshot makes the second and third film far superior in this Rennie Harlan trilogy. Uh, I'm not going to hold my breath for this one either. The, the momentum and expectations are, are in the toilet right now for me. I just want it to shock me and be more than decent <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and there's a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you want me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video